I welcome you all to this debate competition which is being organized jointly by IIP JNK chapter and uh, University of Kashmir Dean Students Welfare. There will be 30 teams uh, participating in this debate and uh, uh, 60 students, 2 students from each college will be participating. Uh, so there is a keyboard is not an alternative to the formal education that is the topic which you are which is being debated here some may be speaking in favor of it some may be speaking uh, against it so there are three judges uh, mr jazul haq mr mudassir mr bashir sir who will be uh, judging the best debaters and uh, probably five debaters will be given the cash prizes. And again, uh, we have an IIPA trophy, uh, which is uh, being at present with uh, Amerson College. And uh, they will be the depend. Hopefully, they will be defending it also. But uh, we'll be analyzing the talent of all other participants in this debate, and hopefully, some best participants may overtake them. Moreover, uh, there uh, will be what they have, I have been told there will be cash prizes also for students but always we say that winning and losing is a part of particularly the academic culture and also the extracurricular activities which is being participated by the students throughout the valley or particularly in the campus also so winning and losing is a part of game so I hope that those who will not be given the cash prizes or who will not be giving adjectives the best debaters they won't be disheartened uh, always judges have their own parameters and uh, their own way to which is very transparent and uh, we have our judges are very experience it because uh, almost uh, they participate in all such programs at University of Kashmir. I, on behalf of, again on behalf of University of Kashmir, we try to, uh, always try to facilitate all the students, females and male students in, at the University of Kashmir. We have created an infrastructure where we try to uh, uh, give our best, we try to create the infrastructure, we try to create the labs and we try to create the facilities particularly for the students which will go a long way to uh, mold them as a good citizens, as a good students and hopefully inshallah they will have their, uh, they will get opportunities in the, their lifetime to serve the nation or outside the nation also. Some students at present they opt for outside the country also. So such competitions or such debates or such extracurricular activities are very important for the growth and development of any student. And I am hopeful that the present debate which is going on, which will be held today, I hope that uh, the students will carry forward uh, what uh, Shahid was already telling, uh, conveying that this program was done by the university for the last two decades and uh, because of the COVID for the last few years it couldn't be held but uh, now they have again started it this year uh, inshallah it will be it, it will be now carried in all the coming years inshallah uh, so I hope that all the students will be relaxed and they will participate in the debate and again I welcome you all to this beautiful campus and to this uh, energetic and uh, well-managed program from the Department of Students Welfare who are always doing some activities within the campus or outside the campus which give a way which has become al almost a face of the university. I congratulate and I welcome you all again. Thank you. Uh, dear students, it's a great pleasure always to visit Kashmir University. It's an institution 
where we all have studied. And coming back to this institution is always a pleasure. When I was the student of this university, it is same. I think of the every time I visit university, it looks more beautiful. But it has new flowers, like students and teachers, new people are coming up. And this is, I think, always I feel this is as important as any shrine anywhere in Kashmir or elsewhere. And I do not know how many people must have been enlightened by this institutions. It transforms lives. So I always feel that looking at the gates of this university, it gives a great satisfaction. Now coming back to the collaboration, I am thankful to Professor Nilofar Sahiba, Professor Nisar Sahab and the Dean Students Welfare for having uh, uh, refreshed our this activity of collaboration. And in fact, uh, as uh, it was mentioned by Professor Nisar Sahab, that our collaboration with the Kashmir University is a very old uh, association and holding of annual debates is also something a very routine. In between it, we missed it because of the COVID. Uh, Alhamdulillah, uh, things are getting better now. And today's uh, debate, I'm sure, is going to refresh our association with the student community. And the topic is something, it's again related to the COVID because there was a lot of uh, online teaching, learning and in all aspects of life. And in fact, for a meeting where we used to go to Delhi or Bombay, now if with the convenience of the IT and all that, we could hold it. But it has its own merits and demerits, which you will have to evaluate, which you will have to express. And both sides have pros and cons. And we look forward to hear a wonderful debating session today. We wish you all the all well. I thank Professor Nirupat Sahiba, Professor Nisar, Dean Students Welfare, Shahid Sahab, and all my friends in IAPA and respected judges also that they have uh, taken this opportunity. They have given us this opportunity, and we value it. Thank you much. Ladies and gentlemen, I want you to pay attention because whatever I am about to say is what I feel and what I believe. Live as if you have to die tomorrow and learn as if you have to live forever, said Gandhi. According to report of Times of India, a survey was done by Spiral Learning in which they found more than 50% students of India do not have access to internet. I stand here on behalf of those very students. Dreaming is one thing, but putting actions and turning it into reality is another. What my opponents will do is that they will show you a very beautiful dream, but I will show you the reality. Ladies and gentlemen, it is a fact that keyboard learning has helped us all during the times of COVID and I really acknowledge it. But that's it. Replacing it with the idea of formal education would be an absolute disaster. To verify my claim, I'll produce the following arguments. Argument number one is practicality. Just imagine we replace the whole system. How do we learn? How do we teach? Who judges scores in grades? I'm here to take a stand for the motion of the topic keyboard learning is not the alternative for formal education. Technology in classroom, is it better or worse? Is it the solution for all our problems? Let me give an example. I have been visiting my scholars, they were doing research and I found multiple tabs open on their laptop screens and I find that Oh my God, this is really good. I mean, they are citing information from different sources at the same time. They are cross-referencing. Wow, what a valuable asset of technology is to us. But simultaneously, I see people using TikTok, Insta Reels in the mid-class. And that's not what I expected of the technology for academic purpose. And in this, I would say that it was a complete unnecessary distraction for the students. The reason I am in favor of the motion is due to the following reasons. Number first point, there is lack of interpersonal skill development. Interpersonal skill development. That is, when in a classroom, students are required to speak up their minds. 
We, must, we may be asked to give presentations and speeches. We have to work with different people, having different opinions. However, online learning, however, online learning usually have little face-to-face -face interactions. We have little, very little face-to-face -face interactions, and but that is not a convenient because the online learning is totally different from the formal education. In a classroom, there are teachers, there are the classmates. We are going to interact with uh, people having different opinions. When we students are interact with our teachers, our professors we get a boost to our confidence levels. Whenever we are, don't know anything, we find our teachers there. We can go to the teacher and ask. We have many confusions. And many times we can go and ask our teachers that we are having this confusion. Can you clear it? Many times. There is no limit. In online education or online learning, we have limit. Time limit is there. We can't ask. We think, I can I ask this question, ma'am will say after this after this after this we are having a burden in our mind when will our turn comes when will we ask the confusion and that confusion become a lot of burden and makes a headache in our mind my name is saima and today i'm here to speak against the motion that is keyboard learning is not an alternative to formal education well in my opinion i think yes keyboard learning is an alternative to formal education I will put my reasons in points. The point number one is, worldwide, 129 million people are out of school. And if we consider India, in India, only 77.7% .7 people are literate. And the lowest literacy rate is in Rajasthan, because people are poor there. They cannot afford schooling for their children. And the funds that we use to build buildings for schools Instead of that, we can buy the mobile phones and in lakhs we can buy thousands of mobile phones so that they deserve, so that because they deserve education, they deserve to be a literate citizen and they could learn at their pace. My point number second is that only with the help of online learning, we can avail the courses from foreign universities and get best experience and knowledge at our respective homes. My point number third is, we have possibility of 100% attendance in online class. Yes, we have possibility of 100% attendance in online class because we do not need to miss it at any pretext. If we are sick or even if we are on bed rest, we need to just join the class and continue study. Although keyboard on online learning cannot completely replace the formal education, but it has its advantages and benefits which help us, us to learn and receive the education in a new and innovative model. There are several benefits on online learning which are as follows. Point number one, education plays an important role in person's development and to the prosperity of a community in general. Right now, keyboard learning is although not a complete alternative from all dimensions, but it does its best to provide quality education to the students as it allows both parties, teacher as well as students, to exchange ideas and benefits which help us to learn the quality of education. Point number two, e-learning is a distance learning where the teachers play less role rather than the students. In this process, students' contribution to their study is greater than in a normal studying situation. It helps them to work on projects, worksheets together. I'm sure that the juries today must have had a tough job because I have uh, always witnessed these types of debates in this particular hall and it's not an easy job for the jury. Sometimes there's a tie, I hope, Today everything was clear and you had no problem in coming to the uh, final results. And of course a pleasure to see students listening very, uh, you know, patiently. Uh, I'll be very brief. I have always said it's not important to win but it's very important to participate because it gives you visibility, it gives you confidence and it gives you creativity how you have to uh, see how to take up things in future. 
uh, as my previous speaker said about today's theme, a very important theme. And I pers personally feel that technology is empowering every field. So it's empowering uh, the system of education, our teaching learning system, but of course, uh, for everything, human resources needed. So, uh, as per my view, a teacher can never be replaced. A teacher is a teacher, and uh, without teacher, any education system is incomplete. Uh, of course, uh, the previous speaker said, uh, you know, in emergency situations, of course, we shifted to uh, e-learning, it was a great help, our students did not lose any time. Then we shifted back to the, uh, you know, offline mode. Uh, and, uh, of course, uh, students experienced both the forms and uh, students wanted to come to the campus because, as somebody said, the environment is also very important. Environment is very important because for overall personality development of any individual or any student, uh, formal system of learning is very important and extracurricular activities are also very important. But uh, I also feel that uh, technology is very important. We have to be uh, technique savvy. All our students, teachers, everyone has to be technique savvy these days because otherwise we cannot work and uh, I'm sure uh, that our cultural officer, uh, Mr. Shahid Ali Khan, who's a very hard worker and a vi very vibrant worker, uh, must have had, as he said in the beginning, he has number of uh, programs in pipeline. And uh, again, they must be very interesting. For the uh, Department of Students' Welfare, uh, you know, getting students uh, engaged in different type of activities is very important and uh, administration always, uh, you know, helps in that whether it's uh, providing monetary uh, funding or any other. Uh, we are always there for any student activity. I'm sure that under the leadership of uh, Professor Anisa Shifi, uh, Things will move uh, in different directions as uh, I can see a ray of light in her and uh, you know whenever any task is given to her uh, she very uh, you know uh, positively takes it and sees the things are done. Uh, all the uh, you know workers in DSW are very hard working. I always say DSW is the face of the university. So these types of activities are very important because it gives uh, visibility to our students and uh, they try to uh, you know, uh, introspect in themselves also uh, what lacunas are there, what positiveness is there. And uh, I'm sure that uh, all the students who spoke today will take part in other debates also. Uh, because, as I say, it gives them confidence, creativity and skill development which is very important for a person to move forward. With these words, I congratulate Department of Students Welfare and IIPA for organizing this collaborative uh, you know, uh, debate and uh, definitely uh, we look forward to IIPA for organizing more as uh, something is in pipeline pertaining to drug uh, de addiction. We definitely would like to have something like this. And uh, as you have seen that uh, universities have been roped in for this program, our affiliated colleges have been roped in uh, this particular program. So in a way, the whole valley is covered. Uh, with these words, I once again congratulate the organizers and uh, I congratulate all the participants who have participated in this particular event. Thank you very much. At the outset, I will first uh, thank Honorable Vice Chancellor, Madam, for agreeing immediately to resume this annual debate, which has been now concluded just now. And I am also thankful 
to Dr. Kasba Sam, who has taken an initiative and spent some time for organizing this event. We have long association with the university and I am happy, I, we have been monitoring that some of the prize winners of this debate have made uh, a career in their life and they are holding good positions in academia, <coughs> in administration, as well as in certain other fields, journalism and other fields. So about the subject, subject matter, I want to just to give you my opinion that online education was an emergency event. And you gentlemen and ladies and gentlemen, you have taken it very seriously. It was an emergency because of COVID. You can't substitute universities, you can't substitute colleges, you can't substitute schools. Tell me how many of you were key to come and join the university again and meet your friends, meet your uh, teachers, meet your colleagues and read in the classrooms rather than online. I think I am correct that all of you were very keen to come and attend the classes. And another experience I have got, because my grandson was also reading on this online business. So, he was not very much satisfied. He said that it is sort of a joke. We don't have any interaction. Nobody is serious whether anybody is listening or not. Anybody is attentive or not. That is why it is short, has not to be taken. It was an emergency measure. And had it been a serious affair, and people would have thought it much before then COVID, at least advanced countries should have started long back. So kindly don't take it seriously, it was an emergency and even now I know certain private agencies who were coaching boys and girls on the uh, online, they have also held classes because they were not satisfied that their uh, students have understood everything. So it may be need PG, it may be need undergraduate or it may be any other competitive examination and I don't think uh, if I am not wrong, that every class of the university, every department of the University of Kashmir or any other university were functioning on uh, online. It was some of the departments probably which took the initiative. So with these comments, I would like to request you guys attend to the classes, forget about this business. Yes, now you have got a lot of material available online, which you can utilize for your studies. A sea of material is there, what normally would not be available to us when we were studying in your university or college. I take this occasion to be thankful on behalf of Institute of uh, Indian Institute of Public Administration, JNK chapter, to Honorable Vice Chancellor, by whose efforts uh, this uh, annual debate, which could not be held for the last four years, has been revived. And I am also encouraged by the participation of all uh, universities and colleges of Kashmir Division who have represented. Uh, 30 teams have come and it is an honor for the IIPA and also for this debate. I will not be taking over much time. I thank all who are present here and all who have made this function uh, a success, a very grand success. And I am grateful to everyone. Uh, thank you so much.